I will explain how to write a macro program. So it's just I'm um, writing a sample program. Just I'm giving a comment like sample program first subject subject name. See that subject name is anything. Only just now we discussed a macro name rules like max to 55 characters no spaces first letter should be alphabet so that macro name and the subject name both are same so you can give any name except predefined keywords just enter see subject subject name after that press enter automatically will get open bracket close bracket and end subject also now we'll write a simple code in this just i'm checking like range of a1 colon g10 is equal to just i'm writing excel map see this is the way to write a macro just subject subject name in this range of a1 colon g10 then say excel map so this is the way to write a sample program next after writing a sample program we'll execute that program now we'll see execution of a program so there are two things f8 and f5 so there is an option directly there is a run subject or else user form so in that uh, you can press f5 otherwise you can use a shortcut called f8 so we'll use f8 and f5 so in this anyone you can use so by using f8 you can execute line by line by using f5 you can execute that entire program at a time my advice is to use f8 only because so that you can understand for which line which output you will get and if there is any error in this vba code you can understand very quickly and you can resolve you can debug that errors also now we'll execute this program just I'm writing this program inside the module. Look at there inside the module only. Just go to the insert. There are user form module class module. I'm selecting module. So in that only we need to write the code so that you can execute in any shape and in any workbook. So first press F8. Say first line, second line, third line. Look at there in the back end in the Excel. Just I got the result like Excel map from A1 to G10. So once after completion of the program. We'll execute this by using F8 or F5. So you can use F5 also. For example, I'm changing Srinivas. Just press F5. Look at that immediately. So that complete entire program will execute at a time by using a shortcut F5. F8 means we'll execute line by line. So friends, uh, this is the way we'll write a macro code and uh, we'll execute the macro. Next, once after creating a macro, we need to save this workbook. Just like a Excel workbook, we need to save this macro Excel workbook also. But here we cannot save directly. For example, Control plus S and you can give any name here. For example, just I'm giving my file name is like sample and save. That save as type is Excel workbook by default it will be excel workbook so if you are clicking on a save option the workbook will save but there is a problem only this excel workbook will save but not that vba editor code next time if you want to see the code you cannot just because we are saving this workbook as an excel file not excel macro file so that's why just go to the save as type select excel macro enable workbook so that excel along with the macro code also the file name is any name and the save as type you should be select excel macro enabled workbook then say save go to the file close again open this next time look at the sample 
I first of all it is asking to enable the macro say enable macros so there is a notification why because in the developer tab there is an option called macro security so in that there are four so first one is disable all macros without notification disable all macros with notification disable all macros except digitally signed macros I enable all macros see the last one is not recommended because macros means what automation we are using for automation purpose if you are doing enable for all the time back and automatically all the programs are going to execute immediately so that so I'm selecting disable all macros with a notification so that you will get a notification whenever you require you can enable the macro and you, you can start execute macros then okay so where it is in the developer macro security by default we are selecting the second option disable all macros with notification this time just i want to protect this code so that other persons they cannot see this code just go to the tools vba project properties protection lock project for viewing okay tools vba project properties go to the protection select lock project for viewing password and confirm password then say okay just go to the tools vba project properties protection select lock project for viewing password confirm password okay now save this control plus s again close this again open this file see again it is asking enable macro just go to the developer click on visual basic look at there it is not showing any kind of macros just click on VBA project it is asking password give the password say ok and go to the modules go to the module one now you are able to see the macro code in this VBA editor so like this you can protect the VBA code also by giving the password